I thought it'd be interesting to have you talk to me a little bit about the Truex experience inside of a very, very large traditional organization and what that taught you about the state of advertising right now. Uh, um, yeah, interesting. On the, when you're on the outside and you're, and you're in a small company in the advertising world, you have to try to get the company to focus. You're saying, we don't do anything else, we only do this. We don't do anything else, we only do this. Because you have to have a place in advertising because there's just so many choices. You have to stand for something. Um, and then once you go into a large organization, you spend most of your time saying, let's try other things. Let's do new things. Let's do new things. Because advertising has so much momentum the way it's been done. And I think that's the biggest difference. So interestingly, though, a, a lot of what I'm looking at these days, and I come from programmatic advertising, so I clearly believe mm. in, in kind of data and machine-driven advertising, is how wrong we've gotten it in digital in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And so how do we balance the sort of lessons we can take from traditional forms of advertising with what is possible with data and technology? I, I, I guess having a, having a healthy skepticism of what is actually possible with data and technology versus what can be sold uh, to people on data and technology. The don't worry about it, it's data. Uh, the over swing and over correction to data. Um, you know, there's just this, there's just too much heaviness to it right now. And I think people are taking advantage of the fact of mediums that are much harder to measure. Uh, you see a lot of smart companies flocking there. How do we make good consumer experience in advertising profitable? Because right now, I'm not sure we're really incentivized to make it better. Yeah. I, well, I think it is if you, if you account for consumer experience, meaning that they abandon watching in particular areas, and if you accounted for the amount of what, you know, fraud or fraudulent like, impressions that are out there, the number of people watching real ads is shrinking at a rate at which I think it actually should be profitable to have good experiences that people are willing to sit through ads for. Um, the market, I don't think, recognizes it, but, but that, is, that, that is how you make it profitable. So let's talk a little bit about attention capital. Sure. Please explain. Sure. I was hoping you would explain it to me. Yeah, uh, I know. Wouldn't that be fun? No, uh, so Attention Capital is a holding company, uh, and the, the plan will be to uh, buy control stakes in uh, media brands or iconic brands uh, that are permission to curate. Uh, and we think the curation layer is what's missing for media brands. Um, and that means that in the open web, there's been so much. Right now, the AI is curating content for people. Um, and I think people are looking for something a little different. Um, recently, we announced that uh, we partnered with uh, Lupa, uh, James Murdoch's fund to buy Tribeca, which is a perfect example of a brand that has permission to curate, literally curate films, um, but you know what it stands for. And then uh, scale those brands uh, with technology, scale those brands geographically in new business lines. And then media technologies, which are how are we going to measure attention better, how are we going to access attention, respecting consumers a little bit better, uh, and how are we going to monetize attention in ways that it's consumer friendly. Uh, there's so much more we could, I mean, it's yeah. new, right? This it is, is. A sort of very new venture with very, big very, plans yep. and big ambitions. Can you talk at all about how do you do that? How do you better monetize consumer attention? How do you better measure consumer attention? You clearly have your sights on some things. Yeah, so let's talk about ones that are, were already bought. Moat was measuring attention rather than impressions. The, the, you know, if you ask what's wrong with advertising, it's this binary nature of is or is not an impression and this mythical belief that you can measure ROI. Um, uh, at least to a perfection that, that people like to like to believe. Um, those two things have led to an overinvestment in things that are lower quality. Um, and so, if you actually measure what matters, and I, I believe like a lot of companies were pushing down this route of uh, rooting out fraud and measuring attention rather than measuring a vanity metric, uh, you can actually beat the market. 